So now let me discuss the third group of drugs which will cause sympathoplegia. So we have discussed the drugs which will decrease the central sympathetic outflow which will cause sympathoplegia and we have discussed ganglion blockers which will cause sympathoplegia. Now you take the third group of drugs they are the adrenergic neuron blockers. They are adrenergic neuron blockers. So if you take this adrenergic neuron blockers what these drugs will do remember drugs of this particular group will deplete the sympathetic neurotransmitter right they will decrease the sympathetic neurotransmitter and thereby they will decrease the sympathetic system activity. Now what are the drugs under this adrenergic neuron blockers? The drugs include reserpine, bretelium and then guanithidine. These are the drugs in this group and they are also rarely used now. Now let me talk about the individual drugs that is reserpine. So if you take this particular reserpine what this reserpine will do is reserpine inhibits the vesicular uptake of the neurotransmitters all right they will inhibit the vesicular uptake vesicular uptake of the neurotransmitter right so once the reserpine inhibits the vesicular uptake of the neurotransmitter that will cause the depletion of the adrenaline that will cause the depletion of dopamine and that will cause the depletion of serotonin in the synaptic vesicles. Now where are these synaptic vesicles present? If you see here this is the presynaptic nerve and then we have the postsynaptic nerve. From the presynaptic nerve, that is from the synaptic vesicles, the neurotransmitter is released. Normally, what will happen is some amount of the neurotransmitter is being reuptaken by the synaptic vesicles. That is, it is reuptaken by the synaptic vesicles, and further again they are released and they will act on the postsynaptic nerve terminal or the postsynaptic junction. Now what your reserpine will do is this particular reserpine will inhibit this particular vesicular uptake of the neurotransmitter and thereby the quantity of the neurotransmitter in the synaptic vesicles will be reduced. And another important point what you should remember is now this particular reserpine it is causing the deficiency of serotonin within the brain. So this particular reserpine will reduce the levels of serotonin within the brain. Right? Will reduce the levels of serotonin within the brain. Now once the reserpine will cause the reduction of the serotonin within the brain, this will cause very severe depression. right this will cause very severe depression and remember sometimes this depression which is being caused by serotonin will lead to even a suicidal tendencies right will lead to even suicidal tendencies all right so that is about your reserpine now now if you see the other group of drugs in this that is guanithidine and as well as bretelium. So guanithidine and as well as bretelium it is taken up inside the synaptic vesicles right they are taken up inside the synaptic vesicles. 
so once they are taken up inside the synaptic vesicles right they are taken up inside the synaptic vesicles so once they are taken up inside the synaptic vesicles they will displace the stored noradrenaline in that right so this guanethidine and bretilium which is taken up inside the synaptic vesicles they will displace right they will displace the noradrenaline or norepinephrine which is present within the vesicles resulting in decreased neurotransmission resulting in decreased neurotransmission so once there is decreased release of norepinephrine there is decreased vasoconstriction and thereby this particular drug has antihypertensive effect now both of these drugs you take guanethidine and you take bretilium both of these drugs they are given orally right both of these drugs they are given orally now remember the important problem with your the adrenergic neuron blockers that is guanethidine and bretilium is these drugs can cause postural hypotension right these drugs that is guanethidine and bretilium they will cause postural hypotension now what do you mean by this particular postural hypotension postural hypotension is caused by these drugs even if these drugs are used for prolonged period now what do you mean by this postural hypotension postural hypotension means whenever the individual from the supine position once he moves into a standing position right from supine position once he stands there is fall in the blood pressure right there is fall in the blood pressure of the individual now how much is that particular fall this particular fall in the blood pressure is more than 20 millimeters of mercury systolic and more than 10 millimeters of mercury diastolic blood pressure all right when the individual moves from supine position to the standing position and when the blood pressure falls more than 20 millimeters of mercury systolic blood pressure more than 10 millimeters of mercury diastolic blood pressure then this is called as postural hypotension so remember whenever you use this particular guanethidine and bretilium for prolonged use that will result in postural hypotension whereas we have another group of drugs called alpha blockers alpha blockers they will have this postural hypotension in the first dose itself so that is called as the first dose phenomenon caused by the alpha blockers whereas this guanethidine and bretilium they will cause postural hypotension even on the prolonged use